Hello, my name is Jason Duncan, and I'm an automation engineer with Kindle Electric. Today, we're going to be talking about a question that I receive quite often, and that's connecting up to a Compact Logics controller using a USB cable. So let's get started. Step one, you'll need a computer with a USB port, and you need to make sure you have Studio 5000, RSYNC Classic, or Factory Talk Lynx installed. You'll see a link at the bottom of the page here that'll give you a product description of Studio 5000 and will give you your minimum system requirements for your PC. Step two, you'll need a USB cable. The Kindle part number is 9300-USB-CBL-ABHR2. Once you have your USB cable, you're going to plug that USB cable into your PC as you see here. Step four, now plug the other end of your USB cable to the Compact Logics, as you see on the screen here. Once you have connected to the Compact Logics controller via USB from your computer, you're going to open up RS Lynx Classic. And if you notice, you now have a USB driver that was automatically configured when you plugged into the controller. Now we want to click on the plus sign that you see to the left on the screen. Once you've expanded the plus sign, if you notice, now you can see the controller and you're ready to go online. Now let's show you a live demonstration of how this all works. Okay, so I'm going to connect the USB cable to the Compact Logics, and I've got RS Links Classic open now. If you notice, whenever it connects, I'm going to get that USB driver like we talked about earlier. So let's go ahead and connect it. So now, if you notice, I've got the USB driver here, and it automatically configures. So I don't have to do anything inside RS Links once it sees the controller. When I hit the plus sign, now I can see the controller that I'm connected to. So now that we have communications established, let's go ahead and open up Studio 5000 and do an upload. So I'm going to open Studio 5000, I'm going to say from upload. And I want you to notice something here. If I have both the Factory Talk Lynx communication software and RS Lynx Classic installed on the box, I can select which piece of software that I want to use to do the upload with. In this example, I'll use the RS Lynx Classic. And as you can tell, I've got the exact same drivers that you see in RS Lynx Classic. There's my USB. I hit the plus sign. I select the controller. And I say upload. Studio 5000 is now launching, and once it gets launched, it's going to ask me to connect to that controller. So I'm going to select my file. I'm going to tell it to go online. And as you can see, now I'm online with the controller. I'm in remote run, and if I open up one of my Ladder routines, you'll see the power bars let me know that I'm online and that the system is running. So let's go ahead and go back offline. Let's close out of Logics. And let's open it again. And this time, let's do an upload using the Factory Talk links. So again, I'm going to change this from links Classic to Factory Talk links. There's my USB driver. I select it, select the controller, and hit upload. I'm going to select my file. And go online. And again, as you can see, I'm online with the controller. It's in remote run. If I open up a specific routine, you'll see the power bars showing that it's actually running. 
I hope you found this information helpful today. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact your Kindle Electric Automation Engineer or Account Manager. And to find the Kindle location closest to you, you can go to our website at www.kindleelectric.com. Also, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Facebook, and our LinkedIn. Have a great day and thank you.